In the last three decades, the Indian light industry has grown significantly and brought tremendous recognition to the country. Today, the industry contributes nearly 8% of India's GDP. 30 years ago, it was less than 1%. According to one estimate, the total revenue earned by the Indian IT industry offsets the entire import or import bill of the country. Karnataka has set the stage in much of this journey and contributes nearly one-fourth of the share of IT exports. This is possible because of the vision and hard work of leaders, both from the government as well as from industry. But you know, numbers tell you only part of the story. Equally important is how India's role has grown in these last 30 years. From a low-cost offshoring destination to a true technology and business partner for every business in the world today. Which is why, despite the global macroeconomic challenges facing us today, I remain bullish and incredibly excited about the long-term prospects of our industry. My confidence is driven by two things, the rapid pace of digitization across the world and the shift in the mindset of stakeholders who engage with us as an industry. Let me elaborate. The word digital has come to mean different things. We describe it as the way a business leverages technology to create new experiences for customers and for employees while becoming agile and building new models at scale. This, in turn, drives the shift to cloud, to leverage data more smartly, to make your environment more secure, and so on and so on. This was a big opportunity before the pandemic, and COVID has only accelerated it. The second, and equally importantly, is a shift in mindset. Back in the day, people came to India for cost, and they stayed for quality. Today, the conversation is all about finding and accessing the best talent to build new models for relevance in the digital economy, and India is where this talent is. Our challenge is to find this talent and to leverage it to fulfill the demand we see. We have seen the high numbers of attrition that the industry is currently facing. It is because we are all chasing the same pool of talent. Instead, what we need to do is to find new locations and new sources of talent. COVID has shown us that the work can be done remotely and at scale. This will make it easier to widen the talent pool, especially women and people with disabilities who will benefit from the flexibility of remote work. We have a very large number of highly skilled young workers and the largest number of engineers in the world. But instead of going to where the talent is, we force the talent to migrate to the big cities where the jobs are. This limits the talent pool and puts a huge strain on infrastructure in big cities, pushing up the cost of living and arguably even hurting our environment. Which is why I deeply applaud the efforts of the government of Karnataka in setting up new technology clusters in our tier two and tier three cities as part of the Karnataka digital economy mission. If you like the video, do like, comment, share and subscribe.